So in the previous tutorials we have left off with this uh, image. As you can see, uh, we rendered that from Cinema 4D and it's a PNG on our desktop and we want to continue working on that on Photoshop. So let's open up Photoshop. First thing you want to do is you want to go to File then Open. You want to go to our desktop and open our sphere looking thing whatever so that's what you get right off the bat what we want to do is we want to go and add a nice background so let's control click on the create a new layer and we'll create a layer below our uh, initial layer which is uh, great what you want to do uh, for background color is the color I found really cool is uh, one five two f three b well you can go with any color you want it's really it's really not that uh, it's not that a big deal oh, as you can see i think i think dots look uh, look a little bit big but that's cool What you want to do now is you want to add a uh, vignette and the way to do that is you want to create a new fill and adjustment there by hitting this button and choose gradient for that obviously we want to go from black to white and we want to change the opacity to white to something like zero percent we actually also want to change the color to zero uh, to black so it's okay we want to change the type to radial and want to reverse that give it some angle and scale it quite a bit so that's looking cool we want to go to our layer mask and hit B for brush let's uh, make sure our uh, foreground color is black and we want to paint over the top of our image here I'm using really big uh, brush as you can see so what I want to do now is I want to add a gradient map overlay you can just click on the gradient map on the adjustment panel and it will create create it for you so um, let's change the uh, gradient to something like uh, this one is under the uh, presets I think the default presets of Photoshop let's hit OK and let's change the blending mode to overlay and let's decrease that quite a bit something like that looks pretty good so overlay sorry so control one to see our image maybe decrease the fill a little bit 10% for the gradient map looks good so what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and add some uh, some particles to the background so let's go to file place embedded or play click if you are not on uh, Adobe Photoshop CC you're not going to have these options but just go with place why not let's go to our uh, I have this pack from a channel uh, attention channel it's really good it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, you know awesome channel but uh, it's just uh, a waste that it's not really there it doesn't exist anymore so <laughs> whatever and you can totally uh, you know google uh, particles images I mean why not everybody does that I did to get these and let's scale that make sure to by the way I'm going too fast in Photoshop I guess you are kind of familiar with that 
software it's really you know not that uh, not that hard to learn I guess let's go with screen and let's see our particles looking pretty good we want to position them somewhere right here and we want them to be under our layer zero that is our uh, sphere looking thing and let's place more stuff to that let's place let's place random stuff maybe we want to go with place embedded i don't really know place embedded doesn't take that much of your memory but if you want to give it to some you know co-worker or whatever they're not going to be able to read that so keep that in mind since it's uh, you know embedded uh, I mean link at this point you just want to add a lot of uh, a lot of texture to our background uh, what I did was uh, I added Go to our original image. As you can see, it looks really cool. I don't know why, why, but uh, it just does. Uh, let's steal some, uh, some priests, some images from that. And check auto select. Let's see some uh, presets. So that's a cool little uh, font, I guess. Let's add more adjustment to our image. We want to increase the contrast a little bit. Let's add another gradient. Something like that. Maybe we want to go with this kind of gradient. We want to go to our second knob and change the opacity of that to zero Hit ok change the blending mode to screen and decrease that quite a bit you really want to go random you don't want to uh, do exactly what I want but that's exactly how to color correct it we want to add that under the curves let's go to our curves and let's change the Bring down the red, I guess. Go to blue and uh, bring that up. And make a nice green tint to the highlights, I guess. And that's not looking bad at all. I mean, uh, and you can clearly change the uh, type of noise you, uh, you want to add to your circle. It, I was uh, I did that really a long time ago and I don't know what exactly I did so uh, if you can see the lines just double uh, just you know duplicate the uh, main layer by hitting control J and this will make them pop up quite a bit more let's go with pen tool and let's create some lines here and there so what you want to do is you want to change the fill to no fail and then change the stroke to white and then change the stroke width to maybe three points maybe three points is a little bit too much one point one is always great don't know why it's not changing that's looking pretty good. Let's duplicate that. Control T and let's uh, flip it. Position it randomly. Hit A. You can grab uh, points, much like an illustrator. Control J to duplicate that. Control T. want to 
make it the whole thing. Control T. Control T. Thank God. Let's flip that horizontally, I guess. And let's uh, rotate it 180 degrees. Or you can just flip it vertically like a normal person. And uh, yeah, that's looking pretty good. What you want to do now is you want to add these kind of uh, things. And at this point, I think we might want to go a little bit darker. Maybe. What I know is you want to go random with these kind of effects. No matter what you do, just go random. And yeah. Uh, do you want some random text? You can just type that. Or what you can do is you can go to our uh, to your notepad open that up and drag and drop the sphere or whatever image you want onto your notepad and it will just give some uh, maybe hexadecimal stuff who knows what what this is just copy a bunch of text control C control V and paste it here we want to go with Courier Regular or Courier New Regular. We want to go to our paragraph and uh, change the uh, what's that? What's that? Let's, let's see what's that. Let's just just change this to Auto and change the color to white, obviously. So let's zoom in and see how that looks. Change the uh, fill a little bit. Looking good, looking good. Maybe you want to change the alignment to right. Why not? We want to do the same here. And uh, you can just delete some bunch of text. Just to make it look random. And you can do the same for all. You can do it uh, here. You can add that once more in here. And you can add some titles like subdivision or whatever. Change the font to uh, something like Paybas. It's a free font. I like it. I use it a lot. I guess you get it. Control T to scale it. And we obviously really want to change the fill a little bit on that. And duplicate it by uh, Alt uh, Dragon, by the way. Want to change uh, the text to whatever you want. I'm really going random position. I mean, what's, what, the, what the hell is that? No, really. Random. Just so you can see, I'm random. Maybe not the word cool, but whatever. Maybe driver, something. driver it's definitely better and I guess um, I guess that's pretty much it let's add some uh, hue and saturation let's change the hue a little bit you can change that to keep it warm you can change the lightness which we're really not going to now let's see what we have for the moment. So that's our image for today. You know, it's not really uh, looking like this one. But 
you guys got the uh, idea of how to create this kind of effect i hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope it wasn't that long i guess it was and uh thank you a lot for watching i hope you guys check out uh liquid illusion is our second channel uh give it a subscribe or uh, a follow make sure to check our other tutorials and videos and giveaways and uh if you uh, if you have any question you can leave that uh, in comments and I will personally uh, answer that uh, and uh, I'll make sure to answer each comment of you guys thank you guys a lot for uh, your attention and uh, peace